Hey, good morning, dude. So I'm just getting down here to the boat, and I'm gonna do a little, another little solo trip today. The uh, sun's just starting to come up. It's about 6 a.m. We're just gonna go out here and see what we can catch. So check out what we're using for bait this morning. We got a whole bunch of crabs in there. And so today, I am strictly live crab fishing, and I'm gonna show you my technique my secret to live crab fishing because it's something that a lot of people don't do so you will learn something today and hopefully uh, be entertained because hopefully we're gonna catch a bunch of fish so real question here guys what the heck happened to yak motley this dude hasn't been on YouTube in like a month he hadn't been to the office in like a month I'm not sure if I should file a missing persons report. Like, I don't know what happened to the guy. He fell off the face of the earth, man. Like, has anybody seen Yak Motley? Like, I'm, it's like kind of comical, but then again, I'm like, oh, what, dude, is, is he okay? So, <laughs> I'll report back when I find something out. Right now, we're just still in the investigation stage. All right, guys, so I just got out here, and uh, fortunately for me, I'm the very first boat out here this morning which is kind of unique man i was thinking with a sunday that this place would be packed with boats but i hooked my little crab right there through the back right up in there into the rocks and we're gonna see if we can hook something here we got a lot of current so i don't know how that's gonna affect anything if it's gonna affect anything or not but we shall see Come on, fish. I know you're in there. Oh, I think I just got a bite. Ah, dude, I just definitely just got a bite. He got my bait. Ah. Definitely just had a fish steal the bait right there. So that's on the second cast. That's a good sign that uh, maybe there's a good one in here somewhere. Man, the thing about crab fishing is the bite is so subtle that you are hardly even gonna know when one hits it. And that's what, you almost sometimes have to set the hook, just like I did there, when you're not 100% sure if it's a bite or not. Got him, there he is, there he is, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, it's a little sheep, look at there. It's a little baby. <laughs> First fish of the day, and it's a little baby sheep. All right, so let me tell you what I did there, guys. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my uh, crab fishing secret right here. This is what I would do every single time that I'm using crabs or even live shrimp on these rocks this time of year, guys. Do the same thing. But what I'm doing is I am using the absolute lightest weight that I can possibly use. Right now, guys, I'm not even using a weight. I'm letting that crab float between these rocks. Like I'm throwing right on top of the rocks, crabs floating between the rocks, and I'm kind of watching my line, okay? And when my line kind of takes off, you know that you're on, all right? The problem that people have when they crab fish or, or live shrimp fish is they use too heavy a tackle. If you use too heavy a tackle, uh, you're not gonna be successful. Like, uh, I started out with an eighth ounce and I wasn't really getting any bite, so I took the eighth ounce weight off and I'm literally, guys, just letting, uh, just using my swivel as a weight. All right, dudes, I'm gonna run over to this other little rock jetty right over here and try it. I have not tried it this morning yet, but we did catch some fish there yesterday. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we can change our luck, man. Let's see if we can change our luck. All right, bait is hooked up. All right, here goes nothing. Right on the edge of this rock pile is where you want to be, right there. Come on, little fishy. Come on, little fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Sheeper. Another sheep's head. Check it out right here. Just a little guy. Right in the corner of the mouth. He's a releaser. All right, check it out here, guys. Crab. Let's see if we can get us another one.
come on they're in here they're just being kind of uh kind of finicky today but there he is there he is there's a good one there he is crap oh my gosh what in the world did i just do i just screwed up big royally screwed up what is going on dude this stupid uh reel okay this reel the line got caught between the spool i've got a nice fish on and i'm gonna have to unwrap it from the spool this is called damage control right here can i get this reel put back together in time to catch this fish guys that's the question of the day it looks like the answer well, we're about to find out we're about to find out come on baby can we get the reel put back together in time the line got caught i don't know how the line got caught underneath this pool. oh yeah we still nope he hung me in the rocks he hung me in the rocks <sighs> that's frustrating i can't believe that just happened guys oh literally line gets caught like beneath the spool and it wasn't real and i had a, the best fish of the day on so far and he takes me into the rocks i did not get it un, uh, undone from around the spool quite quick enough it happens man stuff happens when you're out here fishing so i'm gonna get back after it all right i gotta redeem myself after that one literally the line got wrapped around the spool underneath the spool and i couldn't reel and i had a nice fish on. That's, that's frustrating that's real frustrating right there Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. There he is. There he is. Come here. All right. All right. At least I'm redeeming myself. There he is. There's a sheep's head. He is a little bit small, so we're going to release him. Check that out on the side of his cheek there. Something tried to bite him or something. Let's get us another crab and let's get rocking here, dudes. We're starting to find a little bite. All right, come on. I don't like that cast. That was a bad cast. What was I thinking? All right, let's get it back in there. That's perfect. That was the perfect cast right there. That is exactly where I want to be, all right? So a lot of people have been asking about the combo that I'm using here um, in my past videos. And I put it in several of the videos, the links. But um, there's a fish. There's a fish. There he is. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. <laughs> Let me catch this fish first. Another sheeper. Another sheep's head. What I was saying was this, uh, this reel right here. It's made by Pissafun, and the rod, I'm going to show you the rod in a minute once I get this crab hooked up. Get it out there real quick. The rod's made by Toadfish, and uh, I'll link both of these in my bio. I like them, man. I like this combo. I've been pleasantly surprised with it thus far, to be honest with you. There, there he is. There he is. Come here. Good gracious. Is he hung in Oh, he came off. I think he was hung in something. Hey, I got my bait back. Wow. There's a little bite. Come on, take it, buddy. Take it. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. There he is. Got him. There he is. Come here. Come here. Finally, dude. Come here. That's uh, another, another sheep. Getting a bunch of these guys this morning, huh? This may be my last cast right here. What do y'all think? Maybe my last cast. I'm not 100% sure. One last cast right here. Perfect cast. Perfect placement. If I catch a fish, I'm going home. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, he's biting it. He's biting it, but not taking it. Now he may be taking it. There he is. Oh, ah, that was frustrating. So let me give you a little recap of the morning here. I lost a lot of bait. I caught a few fish. Uh, 
this is kind of the technique that we use throughout the month of March. The sheep's head run is just really beginning in the past here in Pensacola. They're catching them on the bridges and stuff like that. But uh, let me tell you why I lost a lot of bait today. Uh, the grade of sheep's head that are in our pass right now are pretty small. And so when you're fishing uh, smaller fish, it's gonna be tougher to, uh, to hook them, man. They, it's already tough to hook a sheep's head to begin with. And when they're smaller like that, it's really tough. But nonetheless, man, I had some fun out there today. Caught a few fish. It's only gonna get better out here. Uh, it has to. I mean, it's really, it's, it's been pretty tough the last couple of days. So if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great week. Oh, and if you find Yak Motley, let me know. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.